Welcome, advanced creators. Pathfinding is everywhere in Second Life. With Pathfinding, you can easily create artificial life forms and non-player characters without added lag due to performance throttling. Join us in building a new future for Second Life, alive with new possibilities that you create. This video tutorial covers advanced animation techniques for pathfinding characters. First, alpha cycling is an animation technique that takes advantage of our brain's tendency to imagine smooth motion when shown a sequence of images. Alpha cycling is a primary technique used for animating characters with fast moving appendages such as birds and horses. Now, with the edit tool, we see that this horse has four sets of legs that are selectively made transparent to simulate galloping. Let's assume you have a character constructed but not yet configured for alpha cycling. In order to implement alpha cycling, we must determine the link number of each appendage. In a set of linked prims, a link set, the root prim has link number one, and all the other prims have a unique link ID. Once we have those ID numbers, we can use functions like llsetLinkAlpha to cycle the transparency. For this particular character, which is a seagull, the first step is to res it and then to create a copy of it, delete the body and the head, so all we have is the wings, then reposition the wings into an additional angle. Then we align that angle with the body of the seagull. Once we've done that, we can then create an additional pair of wings, doing a shift and then drag and reposition those into yet another pair of angles so that we'll end up with three complementary positions. Okay, the analogy from alpha cycling positions to prim animations is keyframes. A keyframe is a defined position in any animation sequence. It is possible to add intermediate keyframes in your prim animations. For example, the super prim animation script does a rough interpolation between keyframes. Adding additional recorded positions will assure that the prims align with your intentions. Animations should scale their velocity based on the character's actual velocity to avoid foot skating or unnatural wing motions. That applies to alpha cycling, prim animation, and other techniques. A Linden scripting language call to determine velocity is LLGetVel. So now that we've positioned the three pairs of wings the way we want them and then aligned them with the body, we're now going through and renaming each of these wings as well as the body and the head prim so that we can then identify their link ID numbers with a special utility script. And now we're adding a, a new uh, prim which will become the root. This will be the prim where the pathfinding scripts are running. So after we res this prim we need to align it with the character and then we're going to do a pathfinding test to make sure that the alignment and the elevation of the character what we're really looking for. So we put in a wander cube script and when we close the edit tool we click on the character and it begins to pathfind. And We're seeing the character move forward in the desired direction and it let's say it's a little low but but we're keeping it low for um, demonstration purposes now we are stopping the pathfinding behavior because we're going to do some additional work on our character and so we added a utility script which went through and discovered all the link numbers according to the name of the prim. So now we compare those link numbers with our alpha cycling script to make sure that 
we are turning on and off appropriate pairs of wings in sequence. Check the Second Life Wiki for good building practices scripts. Now we open the Wander Within script and re-enable pathfinding to test our character. As a final step, we edit our character, add sound files, and the random sound play script so that our seagull will now make natural noises. In a few minutes, we've shown you every step of animating a mobile pathfinding character. You could even add a prim animation from our other tutorials to make this character alter its elevation, and more sophisticated pathfinding scripts which alternate pursuit, wandering, patrolling, and other awesome pathfinding behaviors. Thank you for tuning in and turning on your creativity. Please check out our other tutorials on the Good Building Practices Wiki. Always have fun and be awesomely creative in Second Life.